A generator is a simple device to test. Under normal circumstances, when the motor is spinning and the generator is spinning, the voltage regulator puts power into the field magnets via the field terminal. The magnets become excited, the generator makes electricity by working with the magnets. If the generator does not make electricity, if it's not charging, the test is easy. You remove the field terminal, field wire going through the terminal right there, set it down so she can't ground. Take a jumper lead connected to a known power source, connect it right on there, we're putting straight power right into the field. When you've done that, watch your voltmeter. If the voltage begins to climb, this generator is working. And this one here is testing out just fine. If she refused to climb, even after you put power directly to the field, the generator needs service. Polarizing your generator is easy. I'm working here on the bench, but you'll be able to do this right in your car. All you need is a piece of jumper wire. We do the polarization of the generator at the voltage regulator. So the first thing you need to do is find your voltage regulator. I have two of the most popular styles here, and I have them wired exactly as you would see them in your car. The whole principle is very simple. We connect battery voltage to the field terminal for just a moment, and the job is done. On this style here, the A terminal is battery voltage, so I'm going to connect here, and I'm going to touch the field terminal. The job is done. This style over here has two B terminals. Each one means battery. We connect there. The F terminal is here. We touch again. Touch, touch. The job is done. That's how you polarize your generator. In an earlier video, we showed you how to polarize your generator at the voltage regulator. That's the method of choice. If you haven't seen that presentation, it would be wise to review it. If you have polarized at the regulator and the generator still isn't working, you're going to want to polarize right at the generator. Okay, do this before we do any diagnostics. The reason is obvious. You have wiring running from your regulator to your generator. If any of that wiring is damaged or defective, any attempt to polarize from this end will never get here. Polarizing at this end guarantees that the generator has been polarized before we diagnose it. Polarizing the generator is very easy. All you need is a jumper lead. The other end of this one is connected to a known power source. You have two terminals, a large one and a small one. The small one is your field terminal. Remove the wire from your field terminal. Take your live jumper lead and touch it, touch, touch. You're going to get a small spark. When that's happened, that's the end of it. Lay your field wire back on where she belongs, and the job is done.